Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Hacks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to code HTML. I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics and this is going to be part one and we're going to start off today with the fundamentals of HTML. Okay, so HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So this is the website you guys will be going to to test your HTML code. I'll leave a link in the description below. But first, every any time you start a website, you're going to have to include this text, okay? This is going to tell the, the code processor that you're going to be using HTML. So you're going to type doc type, doc type, HTML, okay? So that's going to let the browser know that you're using HTML. Okay, so before we start, let's start with some important vocab, okay? So the bracket, this is the bracket, this is what's going to tell the computer what, what code and what are you going to be using okay what's going to be what's going to what's it's going to tell it what to put next and so those are the angle brackets okay html is simply the code that lives inside these brackets okay so the opening tag or the first html will always have just html this is how you're going to start your website and you're going to end with you're going to end with forward slash html so you're going to always use html the forward slash in any type of code when you're going to end that section for that code to let the website know that you're ending it okay so um we're going to start with head the head is going to contain all of the text for your website okay so and then we're going to end with the forward slash head and all your code will lie in between these two brackets okay so the title will be the title of the tab of your browser okay so if you're using a real um, programming system like uh, notepad plus plus you would this would show on your tab the title so for our title we're gonna put mr. hacks website okay and we're going to end that with forward slash title okay next we're going to start we're going to i'm going to tell you guys how to put the body so the body is what's going to be showing up here in the website part okay so what you're going to type is body you can end that with the bracket and then you're going to type in whatever you want to type First, we have to put the end of our body, and we'll type in in between right here. So we're going to say, welcome to Mr. Hack's website. Okay, so that's our body. So let's review this first part. The doc type HTML declaration should always be the first line of code in your HTML files. Okay. The HTML element will contain all of your HTML code and it's going to end with the forward slash HTML. You could add information about the web page, like the title, and that is the, it's going to be belong in between the head. Okay, you could also add body. It's also going to show up in between the head. So let's say you want to make this text size bigger, right? I'm going to put another bracket saying H1, okay? Let me put it right here also. H1. So yeah, that's this is the biggest. H1 is the biggest font you could have on your website. And with H6, H6 being the smallest. Okay, so we'll, we, let's do H1. So H1 is the font we want. And then we could also add context by in a paragraph style by starting by putting p okay p and then we could type welcome p and then we're going to put and then we're going to type in the size we want it so we're going to want we want the size to be let's put in h4 we don't want it to be that big we don't want it to be that small and then we'll type welcome subscribers and it'll work just like that and then we're going to end with the forward slash p and then we ended our paragraph okay 
So you can also create lists. So for example, I will put, so to start your bullet points, so to start a list, you, you're going to put bullet points, but you're gonna have to start with U L. Okay. U L is going to contain all your bullet points and that the bullet points, the tech, the code for bullet points is L I. Okay. So you can start with L I. So you showed up as a bullet point and you're going to put to, for example, to enter the giveaway, you must, you must do the follow. Okay. And then we're going to, and then we're going to end that with the L I, but for the next I'm going to change this here. So this will be a paragraph and we're going to start our li li we're going to put uh subscribe okay, and we're going to end that with an li forward slash li and then we're going to put another one li and like the videos vids okay and we end that with a forward slash li that's how you can put the bullet points. You can also create ordered lists. Ordered lists are a little bit different than um, the bullet points. It's going to be numbered bullet points. So for the ordered points, you're going to put OL, which is order, ordered list. And then you're going to put LI, same code, but just the top part has to be changed to OL instead of UL. So then we could put um, so number one, like, like my latest bid. Okay. And then we'll end that with an L I forward slash L I and subscribe. And then we have to put L I and we're going to put subscribe to the channel. Okay, and we'll put li, forward slash li. And that's how we'll end this. Okay. So you can also add links to your web page. But you have to write the links like this. So for this link, we're going to put the link to Google. Okay. And we're going to put, to put a link, you have to put a equals h-e-r-f. Okay. And then you put quotation marks the link www.google.com and that with a quotation mark and then we're going to put a bracket and we're going to put search in capital search the word this part on the bottom is going to go away as soon as we uh as soon as we finish this part search browser we're going to end that with a a and an l okay I forgot the bracket right here. Here. Wait. Oh, you have to put brackets right here. Right there. And then you could delete this bracket right here. And it'll show up as a link for search browser. So if you click on search browser, it'll take you to Google. So you could change the text here into what you want the link to be called. So I could change this to Mr. Hacks channel and they could click here and it will take them to my channel. Okay. So this, you also have to, if you want the thing to open to a new tab, the link to open a new tab, you also have to add another line of code. So we're going to put right here after the quotation marks, we're going to put target, okay, target equals quotation underscore blank. Okay. And then we're going to end that like that. And then that will open it in a new tab. So, um, Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe for more. And I know I told you guys in my previous video that Clash Royale won't work with that thing, but it actually does work. 
So links in the description.